What's up guys, welcome back to the channel today. We got some mods for the DX. Camera's a little dirty. We got some mods for the GX right here. But uh, yeah, let's open it and see what it is. All right, so we got the first mod for the GX and it's actually nothing crazy. It is a Calic converter shield from uh, Talon's garage. It's actually meant for a 410 Forerunner and I couldn't really find a Calic converter shield that was in stock. So this one should be ready to go, super simple. So let's go. First things first, you're gonna wanna take off these two bolts on each side of the cross member for the transmission. So one right there, and should be one on the other side over there. I believe that's a, a 12 or 14. It's easier if I lift up the car, but don't have space right now. So it is a 12, let's take those out. All right, so you're gonna put the, the longest bolt, come to the pack of bolts right here. Put the longest bolt with the washer and the, the thick washer in between. And you're going to tighten it down, but not all the way. You leave a little bit of room. So that way, these little hooks can hook into there. Just like that. Alright, next you're going to want to take off these uh, cross members holding the, the, the transmission brace together. Looks like it's a 12 as well. All right, so with the GX, because this is meant for a 4Runner, it's not meant for the GX, um, that middle, um, what's it called, shield, uh, doesn't fit properly because it has the two little uh, bolts sticking out, the two nubs, which I gotta cut off, but um, in terms of just getting it on for now, um, we'll take it off and cut those later. Um, so we, we won't need those, but we can. it will still work. <sighs> All right, so you actually can put this center shield on. You just gotta take off the whole thing to make it a lot easier. So I took it out, there's two more bolts, one right here, and then one, so you'll see the holes right there, right there, shake it off, put this one in first, and then you can put this one right on top. Makes it a lot easier, because if you try to slide it in, these two nubs right here get in the way of trying to slide it in. It's a little bit hard, there's not a lot of room. Um, I think the 4Runners don't have that, which is the, makes it a little bit different. I actually had to take out Another piece that connects to the end of that right there. A little plastic piece or whatever it was. But you don't need it since you have that shield. Got a jack stand holding it up. And now, I'm gonna put this brace back on. It's gonna sit just like that, which I can't tell which way it is. It is, oh, wrong one. It's this one. Right here, to right there. So you're gonna get these first two bolts in, not the ones toward the front, right here, because you're gonna have to put one of these protection plates so that way they cover the, the power that converter. All right, so you're gonna get this uh, this plate that covers it. You're gonna slide it in between this cross member. You're gonna use a provided bolt. It's pretty pretty simple, and then you're just gonna tighten it down. So let's. One, two, and I'm gonna leave these a little loose because on that side need some wiggle room to line the holes. So let's go to that side. All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to put on this side. So get your brace, get your bolts ready right here. And then put these ones on first. Try to find the holes. So you can see these two ends are very loose. Now, the plate covers it. So, turn around this way. Covers it like this. Use your 
should probably take one out of ten. I could probably tell you more than I can. I give my like two minutes. <laughs> Now you can tie in this. So now you have the shield on this side, super easy. So these two is holding this plate. Um, there's no cat on this side, so you're not really protecting much, but that side has the, the cat. So, uh, but it's good to have a symmetric look. Um, but now I'm going to tighten everything down, so we're going to go on the other side, tighten those down, tighten this center bolt right here because it's still loose, so we can reach from here. Tighten that down. So this is where your cat is. Um, I mean, it's still exposed, but the thing is, you can't, you can cut off this side, but now you can't cut off this side. So even if they cut off this side, you can get this side welded on. So it saves them from actually taking the whole thing out. And if they want to steal it, they would have to take out that bolt, that bolt, this bolt, that bolt. Basically all the bolts out just to access this. They can try to squeeze in there and cut it, but there's like no way you're going to get that out with the blade. Um, you're going to try to cut in there and then hit stuff and cut yourself. And thieves are looking for quick, uh, quick money. That's in. Did I do this one? I don't remember. Go. Oh, don't strip that out. Last one right here. And we're good on that side. And I'll tie everything down by hand. Um, this is not meant to support stuff down. The yeah, battery's actually low. No, we're good. So everything's in there, everything's easy and done. And you have these pieces right here that can cover this, but honestly. You don't really need that because you're not really going to cut up there. It's going to be really hard to reach in there and cut with the blade. So if you want to, it does come with the supplied bolts to put it on. It's actually easier to put it on while it's uh, on the car because now you can't reach the bolts. I mean, while it's off the car, but I'm not going to put it on because you don't really need to. Um, you're not really covering much. Like, look, you put this on, you know, it's literally not really doing much and you can't really cut right there. All right, so here's the view from the front. Uh, it's pretty seamless. It sits right under the the middle, what's it called, Under Armour, and it sits right above it. And you can see what it looks like on this side. You have the shield right here covering the catalytic converter. You're also covering this side of the catalytic converter and you have the town's logo, so if you guys want to get one, go ahead to their website. I'll put a link in the description. This is not a sponsored video. I just want to get a catalytic converter shield. And the only place they can actually cut is right here, but they can't cut that other side without taking everything apart. So most thieves don't want to go through that hassle. They just want to be quick in and out. And yeah, I like it a lot. It was super simple. I actually have some more parts for the GX that I got to install soon, but uh, do, doing it another day when I have some more time, but some teaser right here, some eye box, and so I hope you guys like this video. Um, I really want to get this mod done because in my neighborhood, my brother got his Cadillac converter stolen, and I don't live too far away from his hood, so um, just having this protection is. Um, a peace of mind, right? So I can park the car and not worry about my catalytic converters getting stolen because they are extremely expensive. So fuck you thieves, stop stealing shit. Um, but yeah, this is the first mod that I recommend. If you have one, these are really targeted cars. Um, all Toyota trucks. So the Tundra, the Sequoia, the GX, the 4Runners, all of that. And um, this is actually designed for a 4Runner, but if you know, the GX and the 4Runner share the same chassis. So um, pretty much was a direct bolt-on on the website. It didn't advertise as a GX 470 
it was only advertised as a forerunner slash tacoma but it worked out pretty well everything lined up perfectly all the bolts lined up and it's really light it's not too heavy it's like thick alum aluminum so um, it was really easy to carry and put on yourself you don't really need you know a jack stand or a jack to lift up the arm under armor and doesn't add too much weight to the car and also protection protect your cats so Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys like this video. I have tons and tons of content coming for you guys. Um, I'm just slowly putting out videos for you guys. I'm gonna try to put out videos once a week. I'm gonna try to, you know, switch off from the GX to the IS300, drifting, off-roading, you know, just to keep my uh, keep you guys entertained, whether you're here for the IS300 or the GX470 for off-roading, for towing, whatever you, were here, whatever you are here for, I hope you guys enjoy it. Put down in the comments what you wanna see more of, off-roading, drifting, building, how to, whatever, and I'll try to do it. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button i'll see you guys in the next one peace